So, how was an area man able to swing off Green Bay's I-43 Leo Frigo Bridge last week without anyone seeing him? This is the YouTube video that surfaced last week and we showed last week. It's something police say is not only illegal, but it's also dangerous. Very dangerous. So who's in charge of security on the bridge? Fox 11's Eric Peterson takes a closer look at who is watching and where. This YouTube video shows a man jumping, then swinging from a rope to the waters of the Fox River below the Leo Frigo Bridge in Green Bay. Police say the man from Maribel has been cited for trespassing. The individual tied the rope on top of the bridge very, very easily and very quickly and then did the rope swing. Uh, for a person driving by, it may have only taken a couple seconds, and if there was a span in between traffic on the bridge, they may not have seen that. Police say the incident was likely performed near sunrise or sunset, when traffic may have been relatively light, but the Leo Frigo Bridge is a busy place. The Department of Transportation estimates about 35,000 vehicles pass over this bridge every day. A spokesperson didn't want to go on camera for this story, but he told Fox 11 officials didn't notice anything out of the ordinary on footage from two cameras which cover activity on the bridge. The U.S. Coast Guard tells Fox 11 this camera is monitored 24-7, but it is generally pointed north toward the bay. The Port of Green Bay tracks 2 million metric tons of cargo which flow under the bridge. The Port Department oversees the, the dredging and the port activities, inbound and outbound activities uh, in the Fox River. The Port of Green Bay does not have a camera pointing south uh, towards the bridge. Police say they are watching as well. We do have video surveillance throughout the entire city. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't release the fact of the locations of the cameras. Police say the man admitted to the stunt, a stunt officers called dangerous and illegal. This situation could have ended very differently, and we could be talking about something totally different uh, if this situation would have gone bad. In Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Now, police tell us the trespassing citation comes with a minimum fine of $177.